Well, that was something. Uh, hey guys. We're back. Flick Fanatics. Co-host here, John. I'm Matt. Just got out of Green Inferno, the new Eli Roth. Film. Yeah, a lot of buzz. A lot of buzz going, going around it. Yeah. Um, so what's this movie about? Uh, according to IMDb, a group of student activists travels to the Amazon to save the rainforest and soon discover that they are not alone and that no good deed goes unpunished. Wow. That's about right. And uh, uh, yeah. What were your impressions? I was going in pretty pumped. I heard Eli Roth talk at the Chicago Comic Con about right. this movie, heard all about the whole production hell, all that stuff, and I was like, it's cool that it's coming out, super stoked, I'm gonna get my dose of gore, dose of violence, you know, yeah. fucking crazy stuff happening. And uh, so I went in with kind of high expectations, high, honestly. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you the same way. Um, just a little insight, like Matt and I, uh, we're brothers, and I don't know if a lot of viewers know that or not. We grew up, and we didn't really watch a whole lot of uh, R-rated horror films. You know, there, like, there was a phase in school where kids watched, like, Freddy and Jason and stuff. We never did that. Like, our, not our, until, like, Not until school. later, right. Yeah, like, closer to the, the teens. But, uh, like, R-rated R films were, like, Predator, Terminator with, like, parental guidance with us, right? Dad, yeah. Like, our dad watched yeah. it with us. But uh, as far as horror films go, Hostel was one of the first like rated r horror films i saw like on my own you know like i think i saw it with a friend but like you know no parental guidance and that's eli roth the guy that you know has done green inferno and i like that movie a lot i don't know if it was because maybe i was young i was like 14. the shock value in that and like the scariness of like the the plausibility of it like a group of tourists go on a vacation and bad shit happens mm -hmm. right yeah, like yeah. really bad and scary and real things can happen so i, I like i kind of respect the guy i'm like man this is a good like modern horror and just a horror film and it scared me and it it was really good so going into this i kind of like you said had somewhat high expectations like as it began was it kind of what you expected or pros cons that kind of right thing? um as it began i kind it was predictable like a lot of horror like tropes um, I was really off put by some of the bad acting, like really, really off put. And I was like, damn. And I get it. Low, low budget movie. Hard to sell. I mean, I, can you imagine Eli Roth going to studios? All right, this is a movie. And, you know, it's 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 a yeah. miracle it got made. But like a lot of Campbell Holocaust. Right. You yeah. know, it's not like super original. It's been done. Right. But he's kind of trying to make it modern. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And so a lot of no name actors, like the whole cast. I mean, mm -hmm. except spy kid i don't know his name the guy that was in spike the kid that was in spy kids the main boy he's in it he's been in machete and stuff but otherwise yeah look like just i was really like kind of bummed right out the get-go at the bad acting i was able to look past the bad acting as it started um defend jai i thought this movie could have used a little more jai to be honest um the acting it, instantly kind of turned it into like a comedy for me i was kind of laughing at a lot of it i don't know if i was supposed to but it's kind of jokey jokey stuff and, and some of and it you could is, tell was really intentional humor in it right funny yeah. and some of it's just kind of insanely ridiculous right. there is some of it lands and some of it misses big time yeah and so i mean that that was my biggest con with the movie was some of the acting aside from that i applaud the efforts that went into this to actually go to peru meet this totally like uncivilized tribe and get them to be in a movie is pretty fucking cool in my opinion um and you could tell they probably had a lot of fun making the movie like while they were there filming which is not part of the movie oh, yeah. obviously <laughs> but the gore and stuff for me delivered i was constantly kind of going oh uh, 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 like mm, yeah uh, nope no thanks you know kind of like that and uh, so in that regard, it totally delivered for me. I was happy about that. Big plus for that. Um, story took some cool turns in that third act. I liked that too a lot. And um, you could tell it was a passion project, which was I was going to point out with some of the camera work, with you can even tell with some of the color correction and some of the shots, you can tell like mm -hmm. this wasn't a super, super huge budget movie. I'd say the biggest up plus on this movie is the gore. Like it's, it's, good i mean it's good if you want to you know if you're if, into that if you're into that right mm -hmm. like and i'm not necessarily into it i do applaud those makeup artists i mean it's realistic and it's it gets under yes your skin but uh yeah you could tell it's a passion project i respect like you said the effort that went into it with like the tribe and everything uh, overall give us a little critic consensus with, uh, with a score 
<laughs> Eli Roth delivers um, a fun installment of gore and violence to his already established fan base. I'm not. I don't think this is going to get him any new fans. Honestly, I don't think this is. I, I don't think it's going to be a box office success. I don't think it's going to be a critical success. Um, Overall, I call it passable. I'm going to give it the same score. I gave Fantastic Four a D minus. It's a 6.0 out of 10 on the dot. It was enjoyable. Gore's good. Uh, it's good for shock value. Not really scary, though. You know? Like, it doesn't really uh, scare you. I was pretty creeped out by a lot of it. Yeah. Personally. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, was, a lot of it was just intense and it kind of made me go, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. see, like, I don't know. I wasn't really, like, scared. I'm not going to be up at night. I know it's not like a jump scare, but, like, it's disturbing, but not. It's really hard to explain. I don't know. Um, it's just more like shock value to me than okay. scary. I'm right there with you. It's It rides the line for me for being like all right and mediocre, to be honest, because yeah. I was really let down with the ending, too. Like it it kind of ends on a head scratcher more than like a like a bang. Yeah, like ho I'm not, I mean, I know I keep comparing it to Hostel, but Hostel ended on like a bang and like it felt satisfying. And like this one it doesn't have to end on a bang, but it ends in a like all right like yeah. you know what i mean like i don't know i wasn't going in expecting so what are you gonna give it? i'm gonna give it a 5.9 okay out of, out of 10. So 5.9 to 6. It, it rides that line there's stuff i like a lot about it and then stuff i just flat out like hated yeah but still love you eli roth shout out to you can't wait to see your next movie knock knock with keanu reeves yeah I um that's good. i still like and hostile and i still like lorenza Izzo, the lead justine from green inferno yeah, is also be, gonna be, be really in good. knock knock right. she's gonna be in that she's too she's the one good actor in this uh, yeah and jonah Aaron Burns, I'm going to tweet you later. I liked you a lot. You're a good actor. Let's get a third opinion here. Going in, I basically got what I expected. Uh, bad acting. <laughs> I, I think the I, one thing about the bad acting is I think it um, kind of, it doesn't, I, it's almost like it's intentional in order for you to not realize what's about to happen. Like it's like kind of one of those just, oh, everything's nice and kind of corny and whatever. And then they're all about to get like fucked up, which is basically what happens. <laughs> yeah. And then the comedy like kind of sticks throughout the movie in little places here and there. And I mean, I found myself laughing a lot, but I also found myself not looking at the screen. I'm kind of a squeamish guy. I don't like a lot of gore. I like watching it, but you know, sometimes I, I can't take it. So sure. it was definitely a gory movie uh, done really well. Yeah, the makeup was gross. Yeah, it was gross, and it was painful. So, but uh, John was saying it's not really scary, and I kind of agree with that, but I think where the, the scary parts come from is the idea of this, like, you know, unknown, you know, you could be walking around in the woods and get captured by some, you know, native tribe. tribe it's just, like, yeah. the, the scary premise of the movie, like you see in other types of movies like that. I'm going to go, same with Matt, 6 out of 10. It's not a 5, but it sure as hell ain't a 7. And, uh... Yeah, it, it was all right. I won't watch it again. But it, it, it was, I guess, I was satisfied, I should say, with what I was expecting to get. You know, to close it out, uh, this is Flick Fanatics. John's on the camera now. Forrest over here. I'm Matt. And uh, with me is Jai Courtney, my boy. Uh, love him. Check out Spartacus if you haven't. Repping it hardcore. Hashtag defend Jai. Let's get this fucking thing trending on Twitter, would ya? He's gonna be Captain Boomerang in Suicide Squad. I can't fucking wait. I don't know about you, but it's gonna be cool. Native Australian accent. All you haters are gonna zip your mouth shut when it comes out, because it's gonna be dope. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Uh, hopefully review something soon. We got a movie night coming out on Monday with Tim from The Late Reviews. Sucker Punch, and then we'll be kicking off a new series of movie nights with the crew. Yeah. Which is gonna be fun. You wanna talk about that at all? So uh, we decided just for fun, we're gonna uh, get a deck of cards and assign a movie to each card, and then randomly pull one. And uh, we're calling it 52 Flick Up. And uh, we're just gonna kind of, uh, you know, just pick a random movie, watch it and review it. It'll be fun. Definitely.